Have you ever been stuck in traffic? Few things can beat those god-awful feelings of frustration, relentlessness, and hopelessness. I know, right? I have been there. Interestingly, we are not the only traffic-phobic individuals on this planet. Elon Musk is one of us. After all, if you own SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and Twitter, you'd have every right to feel that way. The only difference between Musk and the rest of us is that he is doing something big about it. Keep watching to find out what that is. So sometime in 2013, Musk came up with a white paper that described his concept for a means of transportation that would move people and cargo in pressurized pods. These pods would move through low-pressure underground tubes at hundreds of miles per hour. Amazing, right? Well, at the time, not many people took him seriously. Musk has a penchant for concepts that are the stuff of sci-fi movies. Fast forward to 2016. Musk is sitting in LA traffic, the kind that is as thick as molasses. Drivers in the LA area can relate. And he is so irked at the situation that he made the now famous tweet, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. Most people thought he was joking. It was later that year when Musk formed the Boring Company as a subsidiary of his space exploration company SpaceX that people started taking him seriously. The Boring Company would become a fully independent company by 2018, with Musk owning 90% of the company's equity. Musk always saw the LA transport system as being two-dimensional and easily overwhelmed by vehicular traffic. Hence the need to come up with something revolutionary. And the Boring Company is nothing short of a groundbreaking approach to solve traffic issues. And I mean that in every sense of the word. In case you haven't heard, the Boring Company is on just about everyone's lips thanks to its attempt to change urban transportation as we know it. How? By coming up with state-of-the-art technology that effectively moves people and cargo underground. Well, you might not think that's such a fantastic idea, seeing as we have lots of subway stations and all, but that's because you haven't listened to all that I have to tell you. Have you heard about Musk's loop concept? That's the idea at the heart of the Boring Company's plans to end traffic. At its core, Musk's loop concept is a public transportation system that is expected to shuttle passengers through high-speed tunnels at about 150 miles per hour. It is essentially an underground highway that lets people get into an electric car and get out on the other side of the tunnel. And if you think that is a bit too far-fetched to be true, here's some news for you. The Boring Company has already built a loop in Las Vegas. Its maiden project deploys Tesla vehicles with passengers along a 1.14-mile stretch of underground tunnels that terminates at the Las Vegas Convention Center. But that's not all. The Boring Company has already obtained initial approval for a special use permit and franchise agreement that allows it to increase this loop to a 29-mile route. The expanded loop will have about 51 stations, including stops at casinos along the Las Vegas Strip, the Allegiant Football Stadium, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. If all goes according to plan, the McCarran International Airport will be a part of the loop and some 57,000 passengers will be able to shuttle within these stops in one hour. Once the expanded Las Vegas loop has been completed, folks in LA will have access to a network of tunnels that take the pressure off the traditional modes of transportation. The best part is that the revolutionary mode of transport is expected to be much more efficient and cheaper. But if you thought that was all there is to the Boring Company's plans, I'll call them TBC for the rest of the video, you thought wrong. Taking a cue from Musk's penchant for larger-than-life ideas, TBC plans to replicate its feats in LA across the US. TBC is currently in talks with the right authorities to secure approval to start projects in Chicago. It is also hoping to create a network that links Washington and New York City. As part of its plan for these intercity travels, TBC has conceptualized a higher version of the loop, aptly called the Hyperloop. So if you are still trying to wrap your head around the idea of moving underground at 150 miles per hour, try this for size. The Hyperloop will be a sealed tube designed to facilitate the movement of tube trains at about 600 miles per hour. So you'd be moving at about the speed of an airplane, only this time you'd be underground. 
If Musk's claims are anything to go by, it would take less than 30 minutes to travel from one city center to the other. To be honest, all this talk about moving underground at breakneck speeds kind of sounds futuristic. To call it the stuff movies are made of might even be an understatement, as few movies have been able to effectively pull it off. But if Musk is known for his big ideas, he has always come up with even better ideas to cope with the realities of his grand ideas. Now while TBC's plan to solve traffic issues by taking cars off the street will effectively eliminate traffic jams, minimize air pollution, and effectively manage congestion without altering much of the landscape, there is a point that a lot of his critics harp on, and that point is the costs involved. You see, building underground tunnels can be quite the pricey affair. For example, it cost about $1 billion to build the purple line of the LA subway extension. So imagine how much it would cost to build something in the mold of what Musk and the TBC propose. But you can leave it to TBC to have thought about all the angles before going public with their plans, and they already worked out a solution. It cost them a mere $10 million to build their maiden Las Vegas loop. They were able to achieve this feat all thanks to their application of the concept of reusability. With traditional tunnel boring practices, the excavated dirt is often thrown away, and this increases the cost of the tunneling process. Now, TBC has come up with the idea of reusing this dirt on site. How? TBC developed a revolutionary customized boring machine known as Proofrock. Unlike traditional tunnel boring machines that drill through a tunnel and wait for segments to be installed, Proofrock drills the tunnel and immediately installs and reinforces the segments using some of the excavated dirt. The surplus dirt is then made into bricks that are sold and used for housing projects. That way, costs are reduced and some income is generated. Another way that TBC plans to minimize costs is by constructing 12-feet tunnels that are a lot smaller than the standard 28-feet tunnels. Now, while that might not leave a lot of space, it plans on making perfectly fitted autonomous electric cars. Smaller tunnels also hasten the tunneling process. Once again, Proofrock will play a vital role here. Standard tunnel boring machines take about 8 to 12 weeks to make a one-mile tunnel. Proofrock is an autonomous machine that can be operated remotely and is designed to dig over a mile in a week. With such digging speeds, the tunneling takes less time and the projects are completed earlier, thus saving time and operational costs. Inadequate safety is another point that TBC's critics cite, given the number of emergency exits on the proposed tunnel networks. The boring company has acknowledged this point and plans on building multiple ventilation shafts that could serve as exits. These shafts would then be placed at two-mile intervals, TBC has also pledged strict compliance with safety and fire protection standards in its drive to make its tunnel networks the safest and cheapest way to travel. It might not be all gravy for TBC at the moment. In between facing lawsuits from disgruntled LA residents, not completing some of its proposed projects, and not meeting all of its promises, it has faced a lot of skepticism and criticism. However, there appears to be a good chance that their ideas will be improved upon for better results. For one, TBC has successfully organized tunnel boring and Hyperloop pod competitions for student teams within and without the US. These kinds of competitions have the potential to provide answers to some of the issues that the company might face at the moment. Secondly, TBC might not be having funding issues anytime soon. The company released a statement that they raised $675 million in a Series C funding round. This brings the company's value to about $5.675 billion. That's a pretty huge amount of funds to drive any project, especially with TBC's knack for cutting costs. So what do you think about the boring company's plans to end traffic? Do you think they are viable plans or just an attempt to play to the gallery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.